caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you for your patience, and please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Assalamualaikum. This is Mini from Atlanta. Hey, welcome to the show. What's the question for Rabbi today? The rabbi could comment on what would be the implications of Mary, the mother of Jesus, being actually from the descendants of Aaron. So what would that change uh, in the view of how Jesus is viewed? It is not found anywhere in the Christian Bible that Mary was a, a descendant of Aaron. Now, where that comes from is that we are told in Luke's very elaborate infancy narrative that her cousin, Elizabeth, was from a priestly family. But that doesn't mean that Mary was from a priestly family. That means uh, the only way Mary would be from a priestly family if Elizabeth was from a priestly family is if the way they were first cousins is their fathers were brothers. Stop there. It's very clear also from Luke that this is irrelevant because there's no mention made of it. The only thing that matters to Luke is Joseph, which shouldn't have be relevant because of the virgin birth. But it is, in fact, we are told in Luke that it is Juice Joseph that's from the house of David, not Mary, Luke one twenty seven. So number one is, there's no source in the Christian Bible that Mary was from a priestly family. And the only way that you can be a priest is if your father is a Kohen, a priest, meaning a descendant of Aharon Hanavi, uh, because the only way a tribe identity can be conveyed is through the father, not through the mother. The Torah says in Numbers chapter 1, verse 18, according to family, according to their father's house. That's why in these genealogies, and there are only two of them in the Gospels, uh, one in Luke and one in Matthew, Matthew 1, Luke 3, there are only men they mention there. It could say sometimes who they were married to, but it's only men. It's not a coincidence that you're flipping a coin and, and heads come up every time. They're mentioning men because women will be completely irrelevant here. Now, they're both stuck with the problem of virgin birth because if all, all these genealogies are tracing in Joseph's genealogy, not Mary's. And if Jesus was born to a virgin, then Joseph wasn't his father. And Joseph didn't adopt him. Stop with that nonsense. <laughs> God didn't give up Jesus for adoption. Anyways, enough, enough said on there. But if Mary was from a priestly family, it would not convey anything to Jesus. The presentation at the beginning was very powerful, and we had the translation. And you described Aaron as the brother of Mary. Now, I understand that Aaron was about um, 1,500 years before Mary. Uh, could you give some light on that, Shabir? When we read the scripture, we should ask, what is the scripture saying in its own context? The Quran speaking of the, uh, uh, of the, the uh, accusers of Mary, saying to her, O sister of Mary, you have brought a great thing. Uh, what has happened here? The, the context is that Mary, uh, being a single woman, has, uh, and a young woman at that, has now brought uh, a, a newborn babe. And they're, they're launching the accusation against her, and they're questioning her. What has happened here? Your father was not uh, a, uh, an evil man, nor was your mother a loose woman. O oh, sister of Aaron, what have you done? So that's the point. Now, by saying, calling her sister of Aaron, they are appealing to the fact that uh, Aaron is in a tradition uh, that is known to be a priestly tradition. Uh, Mary follows in the same tradition. So how can she, being a daughter of a noble man and, uh, and of a noble woman, and also in the same priestly tradition, how could she have uh, mothered a child uh, without uh, being married? That is the point. So it's not that uh, Mary is actually physically uh, a, a half-brother, uh, a sister of, uh, of uh, Aaron, the brother of Moses. Uh, it is just appealing to the fact that she's part of that tradition. Uh, the Quran here seems different from the uh, gospel tradition, which uh, seems to link Mary, uh, if that is really her genealogy in uh, Luke's gospel, uh, to link her with uh, the, a Davidic descent. It would seem that the Quran is accepting uh, that she is actually from the Aaronic line. And that would explain why she is the cousin of Elizabeth, who is actually from a priestly family. So here's the accusation against her. You come from a priestly family. Uh, why, why have you, or how, how did it so happen that you have uh, given birth out of wedlock? 
Welcome back. Now we'll take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So Shabir, the question today is about Maryam. Uh, I want to ask, someone saying I want to ask Dr. Shabir why Allah called Maryam sister of Harun in the Qur'an. Mm -hmm. So uh, just so our viewers all understand, Maryam is the Arabic for Mary. In the Qur'an, uh, in the Quran, uh, Mary is called Maryam, the mother of Jesus. And uh, some, uh, w when she comes with her baby, people say to her, uh, Ya Ukhta Harun, oh, uh, sister of Aaron, uh, your father was not a wicked man, nor was your uh, mother a loose woman. So uh, basically they have a question, how do mm -hmm. you have a baby? and uh, you know who's the baby's father that that sort of thing um, so it's interesting that they call her sister of Aaron now some orientalist uh, non-muslim scholars have tried to find out uh, what was the influence in the life of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him how did he come up with the Quran where did he get his ideas and they thought well uh, he may have uh, made a mistake in that uh, in in the Bible uh, uh, Moses has a brother Aaron and also a sister Maryam uh, Miriam and uh, um, uh, perhaps uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him confused the two Marys here thinking that Maryam the mother of Jesus is that Miriam, mm -hmm. the sister of Moses okay. uh, and s by extension sister of, uh, of Harun of, of Aaron uh, but when the a question was put to the Prophet, peace be upon him, according to a hadith, uh, as to why the Mary is called um, a sister of, uh, of Harun here, uh, it is reported that he said that tell them that, uh, uh, tell the questioners about this, that uh, the uh, people uh, normally give the names of their ancestors to their children. Uh, so, if we think of today's uh, societies, we will find it's very common that within the same household, you can have a Mary and an Aaron uh, and a Moses and a Zechariah and so on. You can have names from very different segments of uh, a past history, all culminating in the same household among brothers and, and sisters. Uh, so, uh, as Muslims are doing that now, uh, people would have done that in the past as well. Uh, and that would explain why Mary is called sister of Aaron. Uh, perhaps she had a brother named, uh, named Harun. Uh, some of the commentators say that, uh, that perhaps she's called this way because she was in the Levitical line of, uh, of descent. What uh, does that mean? Uh, that means that as Aaron was a priest and then the priests descended from his stock. Mm -hmm. uh, so Mary is of the same line of descent, which would be interesting because uh, in the New Testament, Jesus on whom be peace is, uh, uh, is shown to be the son of David. He's of the Davidic line, which would mean that uh, he's of that kingly descent. And when people hailed him as Messiah, they thought that that means that he is the Davidic Messiah. Uh, but a problem occurs in that if he's the Davidic Messiah, he should have ruled. Uh, and, and he didn't rule. Of course, Christians generally believe that when he comes back, he will rule. But our Jewish friends say, well, okay, in that case, when he comes back, we will believe that he's the Messiah. But so, so far, he hasn't proven himself to be the Messiah. When he comes back and he rules, he will prove himself to be the Messiah. And then we'll believe that he is the Messiah. But so far, it doesn't look like he is. Uh, in the Islamic uh, view, on the other hand, uh, there is no mention that he is of Davidic descent. And the Margaret Barker, in her book, Christmas, The Original Story, actually remarked on this fact that uh, in, in the Quran, and neither Mary nor Jesus are shown to be of Davidic uh, descent. And that would probably explain uh, why uh, Mary is called sister of Aaron, in order to show that she's actually not of Davidic descent, but actually Levitical. And in that case, Jesus on whom be peace would qualify still as Messiah, but as a priestly Messiah. Mm -hmm. And in that case, uh, the, the idea of his crucifixion does not present a problem. You see, if he was to be the Davidic Messiah and then he was crucified, it would mean that uh, somehow the crucifixion disproves his claim to messiahship. But if he was a priestly Messiah, then all he has to do is be a priest. Uh, or a religious teacher. And in that case, uh, the fact that they crucified him would not count against uh, the, uh, his, uh, the, his authenticity as God's uh, priestly Messiah. You answered several questions with that. Thank you very much, Dr. <laughs> You're welcome.